So we're here today and uh, it's a beautiful Saturday here in Tampa at the Socorro's compound. I've got special guest Michael Hearn and his family here. So we did it big. Lewis came out, he personal chef for us today. It's a, a, a ginormous feast of great food, chicken, steak, um, salmon, um, you know, Caesar salad, all different types of fresh fruits, homemade cookies, homemade pie, all the good stuff, even coconut shrimp fresh. So it was really, really good. I mean, listen, we love to eat, especially our families. So we just took it in and we're like, man, this is gold right now, right? Um, but we're here, we're about to go swimming, play a little bit of basketball, maybe hit some baseballs in the cage. And then I've got the outside all set up. We might take a drive in the cars, you know, because it's all the Titans. And I have got enough Titan cars here to do it. So I might as well, you know, show off, you know, some of the cars and have them in it. Um, you know, I know Mike's not a big car guy, but it'd be cool to see a Titan in a Titan car, right? And all the Titans in the Titan cars. So we're out here, we're gonna do it like this. Uh, maybe take the vehicles out and take some good content in those. Who knows? But you know what, it's been a good day anyway because we're just having a great time and uh, great conversations with great friends. And you know, just, just doing it up, eating good food, breaking bread, um, having the families, you know, enjoy each other. And, and that's what it's all about, right? These are things that are priceless because you can't buy these things. You can't buy friendship or true friendship, I should say. And the memories that you make with, with events like this and the bonding with your family, this lasts a lifetime. So stay tuned and uh, come with me. Come with me and enjoy, you know? And hopefully you're having a great day while you're watching this. Or if not, plan a great day with your family, your friends. It doesn't have to be a whole bunch of people, just people that you like and want to be around and enjoy their company. So uh, come with me and uh, we'll show you what's going on inside too as well. This is this is this is a regular size piece of salmon right here. You look on the bottom. Yep. That's the piece I want right there. Right there. That's a 12 ounce piece. That's All the about, rest are about 10. That's about 65 grams of protein. That one piece right there. Real protein. All by day. The chef. Yeah, there you go. The All day, every day. So we're here at the Tight Medical Center Court at the Tight Medical Center Compound, and uh, we've got one of the Titans himself, Michael Hearn here. Have a good time, shoot some hoops, some activity. Oh, I'm in for <laughs> we're having a blast out here and uh, we're doing a big. So we're out here and uh, we're gonna get in the car. Let's put Mike in the car. Gotta have some of the Titans behind the wheels here. So we were just going over kind of the cars we got out here. One is the 2023 hardtop convertible uh, Corvette Stingray, 495 horse. The next one's a Lamborghini Huracan, uh, 2019, and that's got 670 horse. It's tuned a little bit. And the next one after that is our Red Eye Hellcat Jailbreak 2022. That has 807 horsepower. And then of course we've got the Corvette Z06 2023 hardtop convertible behind that, 680 horsepower. So we're gonna get these bad boys in a line, take them for a drive. You guys will get to hear them roar a little bit, right? And that's what us Titans do. We make things bigger, better, and badder. And we want that bad boy, we want everybody to hear us coming. Oh so uh, you guys are gonna get to see this for your eyes right here on camera. So come check it out. Mike, what's your choice? What's your pick? Going Hellcat, baby. Oh, yeah. Two, one, let's go. All right, so we're out here. We're going to get some shots of the Titan vehicles rolling. Michael Hearn from the Red Eye Hellcat Jailbreak. I'm in the Lambo. I got Big Drew in one of the C C8 Stingrays, and then Sharice in the Z06 revving, rocking, and rolling. So we're going to go on a little uh, 
tight trip here, short one. You know, get some driving with the vehicles, get some cool content, enjoy the day. So uh, come on, let's go, let's go for a ride, let's go. Watching a Titan Medical Center production. I don't want to just look better. I want to feel and perform better. That's why I choose Titan Medical Center to help me reach my health goals and to optimize my performance. Titan Medical Center is a concierge medical clinic, conveniently located in downtown Tampa's beautiful Channelside district. Our services range from identical hormone replacement therapy for males and females, medical weight loss, peptide therapies, vitamin and amino acid injectable therapies, and much more. Today, Jonathan Price, one of Titan Medical Center's patients, will have the opportunity to share his personal Titan experience. So I used to be with a hormone replacement clinic about nine years ago. Unfortunately, the day to day, my energy was getting low. My therapies were coming in late. So I've known John and Sharice since middle school. I gave Sharice a call. John immediately reached out to me. We ended up doing my blood work and a lot of things were very off. I've noticed since day one of being with Titan Medical, the customer service difference, the speed of the therapies getting to me, uh, making sure that my health is number one and a priority to Titan. Uh, it's just a total experience. I feel much better. I have a lot more energy, a lot more confidence. I'm in the best shape of my life and I turned 38 this year. So if you want to be in the best shape of your life, I'm telling you, got to get it, reach out to Titan, get your blood levels checked and make sure you are at your optimal levels. So professionally, I ran health clubs for about 11 years as a vice president. I've also done construction sales out in the hot Florida sun. So you can imagine at my age out in the heat, uh, you got to be at a great health level. I mean, you got to have energy, you got to be able to move, you got to have that endurance, and you got to keep up with these younger kids who are trying to outperform us. Uh, but a beautiful thing is, is I feel like I'm 18 to 20 still. I think it's really a mindset, but more importantly, how you start inside that matters. So if you don't know what's going on inside your body, there's no way that you're going to get the maximum of, of everything else. Um, so having my blood work done, getting in here, making sure that everything's at its highest point, uh, I feel like 18 and I perform at my best level every single day. So one of my favorite therapies has always been my favorite therapy is Hercules Potion. I know a lot of people think about injectables as like, oh no, it's so scary, but I'm telling you right now, it is the best pre-workout on the market, hands down. You can't go in any store and find this type of therapy. Immediate pump in about 20 minutes. I don't care if you lift a rep, if you've been in the gym, you're going to feel some blood flow. And that's exactly the point in order to create lean muscle. Um, I love it. Uh, MK677, I personally have an appetite problem. I don't like to eat a lot. As soon as I take MK, immediately I'm able to get my meals down, which means nutrition. Um, I'm able to repair and rebuild the muscles that I've broken down. Think about nutrition going to your body for energy, resources, everything else. So because of the way I live my lifestyle, obviously it's infectious to others. Uh, I post how I feel on the internet, my workout videos, and a lot of people my age from high school are looking at me like, dude, how are you still doing it? How are you still staying at that level? You know, uh, a lot of the high school football players that I used to work out with now, unfortunately have families, kids, lives, and they kind of let themselves go. But I want you guys to know, you are the perfect candidate to call Titan Medical and get your life back. That's what I've been doing for the past eight years and that's why I feel and look what I do today. You wouldn't believe the actual endless people that message me on social media that I just simply refer over to Titan and the responses that I get back from the results they see immediately. So if that can happen for them, it can definitely happen for you. I highly recommend calling 727-389-3220. Get your blood work checked, but more importantly, get your life back because you deserve it.
Education is key. Knowing what you're gonna put in your body is very important, right? So I see a lot of people out there that are going on these websites that are doing all kinds of ungodly things and selling all kinds of ungodly and untested products. And they're just taking them and injecting them and they're not even thinking about it. That this could be doing more damage to their body. This might not be what they thought they were putting in their body. It might not just work. And that's what you really needed to do. For example, peptides. So peptides come from US licensed pharmacies through Titan Medical Center to their patients, right? But you have a lot of places that are selling peptides online. And then you have questions from patients to say, hey, listen, what's the difference between this and what you guys have? Because there's a big price difference. And the difference is this, that when you go and search and you go to a research or chemical site and you want to buy peptides or whatever medications that they're selling, those are illegal to take. Those are not for human consumption. It's on every single vial that you will get from them, guaranteed. So at that point, you're not supposed to be doing it, but they insinuate that you can and you're buying it to do it. So at that point, you might not be getting what you think you're getting because most of those things that you're getting are coming straight from Russia, India, or getting made in a bathtub somewhere. So at that point, you really have no idea the sterility, the endotoxin of it, and what you're really getting inside the vial is going to help you out in real life scenarios. So be smart about it, right? I understand price differences in things and you wanna get the best possible price you can on any therapy or product out there, but don't put your health in jeopardy to do so. And that's what you're going to do. You're gonna play Russian roulette if you do something like that because you have no idea where it's coming from. These places don't even have storefronts or brick and mortars that you can look at. And like I said, it's not for human consumption in any research or chemical site. So you can take it and say, oh, well, I know it, it is, but they just have to put this on the label. But be smart about it because you have no idea where those therapies or products are coming from. So be smart, use your head, and make the right decision for your health. What's up guys, I'm John. I'm Sharice. And we are back with another Cupid's Corner. That's right. Me and my beautiful little wife over here are bringing you guys great tips, tricks, information, and things will hopefully ignite, excite, and take your relationship to a whole new healthy level. Every week we're doing this for you guys. So I hope you guys are enjoying it and taking this information in. Maybe write it down in your little notebook and be able to use it for later. So, you know, this week we want to cover, you know, we just got back from Sharice's birthday trip, which we take every year. Yeah, thank God. And we, <laughs> we usually go to someplace warm, which we live in Florida where it's warm already in the summertime. But we like a little bit more relaxation, re vacations, right? John um, likes the sand. And we come, we, we go with a, you know, a little small core group of our really, really good friends. And uh, we usually have a really, really good time. So this, this trip was a good time too as well. A little snags here or there and some of the different things. But nothing's perfect so you got to just take the good with the good and leave the bad alone but you know when we go on these vacations these are great times for me and Sharice really just to relax chill out not have to think about anything and we come up with great ideas not only for our company but even maybe for a relationship or what we want to do in the future mm -hmm. it gives us a time to really think about all these other things that we never get time to think about to right? reflect to reflect yes that's the word Reflect. Yeah. So we reflect on, you know, on different things that, listen, where we, where we were at before, right? We kind of laugh about it. Like, oh my God. Yeah, we reminisce. You know, we kind of go through those memories. You remember this? You remember that? Wow. Um, and yeah. then you start, yeah, right? And yeah. then, you know, you start looking to the future like, hey, listen, what do we want to do? Like, where are we trying to get to in our future? In the next five to 10 years, where do we see ourselves? Where do we see our relationship? Where are we going to be living at? You know, all these good things. What is our son going to be doing at that point in time, mm -hmm. right? Because all these different variables are going through us. But, uh, you know, it's something that's that's really awesome, um, you know, to get that time alone. Because nobody else should be bugging you at that point. You guys, if you do go by yourselves, it's always great for a, a, a couple to go on some sort of, 
vacation, staycation. You don't got to leave the country. You can go down the you state. Go down the street. Right? Yeah. Street or, or, you know, further down the state, wherever you live. Um, and have some alone time where nobody else knows you. Okay? And you can kind of disconnect from it all. Right. And that, that's really where it's at. If you can go to somewhere real nice where it's a little private island, do that. It's even better. All right? And you can enjoy each other. Because when you guys are in town or in the real world, you have everybody and their mother tugging at you left and right and up and down, and you just your head's spinning to a certain extent. Your yeah, kids my are going on you. You're, you're, like you're taking care of your parents, whatever it may be, your grandma, wh whoever it is, right? You got a thousand cats at home. I don't know. You highly have all allergic. these different things. Highly allergic. So, <laughs> so it, it is good to, to be able to, to do these things. And, you know, the other thing is is that when we go on these trips, we always do some, some sort of fun activity. So it's not as just sitting on the beach and drinking all day. Yeah. Now, alcohol can be involved, and sitting on the beach definitely can be involved. Or sitting by the pool. Alcohol was involved. And, you know, actually this year, though, crazy enough, there wasn't actually that much alcohol involved. Yeah. It was just like one of those really nice, chill, relaxing environments yeah and it was really cool because the beach water which here in florida if you go to like clearwater beach or st pete beach or wherever the waves are pretty like very minimal you know they're just like little baby waves out there there's nothing much going on it's pretty flat water unless you catch high tide and even high tide is really not high tide it's low tide and low tide is very very non-existent tide is what it is so we were out there and it's pretty cool because they had these huge waves that came in like huge like i would say taller than me so i mean obviously it took us out fun times so that's why i know it was taller than me so but yeah they had these waves and we had like these little floaty like noodle things and we were just wrapped ourselves in these noodle things and we're literally just floating on these little waves just like doing absolutely nothing you know like what'd you do out there absolutely nothing yeah. <laughs> literally yeah. what'd you do where'd you go what excursions is it we did nothing yeah. and you know when you are so busy throughout the day for so many days of the week right because remember we're not just working and running a business you know we have this you know mlb child in a, in, in in the making yep. and the child has baseball yeah, every day of the week and every weekend is pretty much base baseball you know like baseball starts at 5 a.m and and at 5 p.m you know so it just goes all day and the, your entire weekend is dedicated to baseball so it was nice to get away for a little bit because yeah you do get a chance to reminisce or just have some time alone um and just relax and maybe not think about anything at all i yeah. mean i definitely had moments where it's just like blank yeah literally just blank it's contrary on the waves right? just the waves just the, the splash contrary on the waves flowing or, or you know i mean even in this trip right usually we don't bring our son on the trip <laughs> but we did bring our son on the trip this time and That's it good. was a great experience for all of us it's really cool you know um really fun he had fun you know it's good to share those moments and obviously take a lot of pictures and video right mm -hmm. because you know what i was telling him was i was like listen i was like when you i was your age they didn't have the technology the great cameras they have today on cell phones and you know you couldn't document all the great things that happened right you lived it through your eyes and, and your body and your memory in your mind but it's always good to look back on some of those pictures, videos, photos. I mean, even apps these days, you can get all your content of what you shot, throw it into one app, and it'll make your own video for you where you don't have to edit or do anything for it. And that's a pretty cool thing to do because you can show your friends, your family, your kids if you don't take them with you or whoever it is, what the experience was, what you did out there. Uh, and to Sharice's point, we don't do excursions, right? I think on one of these trips, we yeah. went four-wheeling one time years ago. And so we've done a couple of excursions here or there. Or something like that with a little thing. But most of the time, we like to chill at the house, hang out, you know, just enjoy each other's time. Because we did have a couple other friends there, from one, one couple from the UK and the other one's from uh, from LA. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So at that point, you know, we, we get to catch up. It's like we haven't missed a beat, which is really awesome. Um, and, so we got to talk about this, though, right? Because this is Cupid's Corner, and we're uh, supposed to give good advice, right? True. That's That's the whole point of the show, right? So we're going to tell you what happened um, in this little particular trip of ours, because I think it's important that we share this experience, because sometimes you might be caught in a very stressful experience, and it's like, how do you handle an experience, right? Because if your mind is set, right, that you are going on this awesome vacation, and John always tells me this, I'll be so excited, I'm like, oh, I can't wait to go, I can't wait to go, I can't wait to go, oh, I can't wait to go, I can't wait to go, I can't wait to go, and then what do you say when I go, I can't wait to go, I can't wait to go? I'm not getting excited until I'm feet on the ground where I'm supposed to be at, checked in the hotel, and ready to go. Literally, that is what he says to me every single time. And it'd be like That's one so day before, right? And I'm like, 
I can't wait to go. I can't wait to go. Oh, I, I, I could just, I could just hear the waves now. I could just drink those pina coladas. I could just taste them in my mouth. I'm so excited. I can't wait to go. And he says, I'm not getting excited. So I, go, I get there, feet are on the ground. I'm checked in the hotel already. Exactly. So to John's point, um, so on Sunday, right? And this is a true story. Okay. Sunday, we had to wake up at five o'clock in the morning for our son's baseball game, right? Now, just wake up at five o'clock in the morning on a Sunday when you work all week is tolling enough as it is, right? To have to wake up at five o'clock in the morning and then drive an hour and a half to your destination, Auburndale or wherever it was, and then be there one hour before for BP, right? Baseball, and yeah, it's a uh, batting practice. Batting practice, Excuse right? Me. Being there one hour before, so you sit there, do nothing, and then you do go there for two games or two hour game, right? And you are there. Then let's say there might have been another two hour game. Thank God there wasn't. But you know, you come back home. It's a whole another hour and a half. By the time you get home, you're like, oh my goodness, I'm so tired. So we are exhausted. We're making sure all our stuff's all packed up because our flight from Tampa to Miami was going to be leaving at eight, right? So you know, six o'clock rolls around and we're like, get ready to go. I'm like, okay, let's go, let's go, let's get everything packed up. So John, you know, he's in charge of all the uh, little airline tickets and stuff. So he pulls up the thing and I saw it was raining outside, right? So I'm like, okay. I'm like, I'm putting in my mind, like, please do not cancel this trip. Like, and luckily, you know, I mean, in the back of my mind, I'm like, I can't say I really want to drive to Miami right now because it's about a four and a half hour drive. Yep. Um, but, I, you know, if I had to, I would. Right. So anyways, long story short. And this is where. Yeah, because in Miami, we're waiting to get on a private plane, a private jet to fly over to the Caymans. Yes. Our best friend bought us a private plane for my birthday, which is awesome. However, we had to get to the private plane. Right. So we're in Tampa. And this is just an example of how you should you got the end of the day. Right. No matter what, you guys got to work together. Mm -hmm. Right. You guys, no matter what the situation is, pause and be like, all right, let's think logically, because we might be all mad about the situation or something might be going on where you're stressed out and be like, let's be logical about this and figure out a game plan right. so that we can complete our task. Right. Right. Because right. essentially that's what it comes down to. Right? right. So he tells me that the flight's delayed. Right. I'm like, OK, cool. So I was like, well, let's wait around for a little bit, see what happens. All right, cool, a little bit more delayed. All right, cool, you know what, let's just go to the airport. Let's just make sure we're there in case it's just ready to go, let's do that. So we pull into the thing, right? And we're in the Escalade, great, yeah, it fits all the suitcases, we had a lot of suitcases, right? So we get there and then I'm like, hey, why don't you go down to the little people down there and to ask them, you know, what's happening with this plane? Like, are we gonna not get on? Like, is it getting canceled? Are they boarding? What was the problem? Is the problem with the plane? Like, what's actually going on? They'll tell you. I'm like, because what I didn't want to do is give them my luggage on the little circle thingy, right? And then they put it on a non-existing area. And then I got to drive to Miami and wait for the luggage and I'm ready to go to Miami. So that was going to be not, that would have been stupid. So I'm like, let's figure this out. So he goes down there and he asks them, he comes all the way back up, me and Peter are in the car waiting very patiently. And he comes back, he's like, yeah, he's like, they said they're boarding the flight and you know, it'll be about 45 minutes to an hour or whatever. I'm like, cool. So literally not, but maybe one minute, <laughs> one minute after he says this, right? Flight's canceled, man. He's like, flight's canceled. I'm like, are you serious? And like right now, my eyes are like this, because eh? I'm like I've been up since five o'clock, packed all my stuff the night before, so didn't get any sleep. You know, you guys know how that goes, right? So, anyways, we had to figure out how we were gonna get there, right? So then we had to work as a team to figure out how we were gonna get there. So what do we do? We went to went to the rental car place, found a rental car that we could drop off in Miami. Which Tahoe. luckily we found one. And we uh, did it together. At that point, you know, drove down to Miami, right? Which we also did together. Remember, as a partner team. We made sure we split the drive, yep. so that way neither one of us was really, really tired. Yep. But it was teamwork. Yep. Do you see how we did that yep. as a team? And we were both tired and cranky. I mean, he was way more cranky than me. Depending on whatever situation you're in, complaining is going to be useless. Way more cranky. <laughs> the best thing you can do is find a resolution to whatever problem it is, right? Problem solve. Yep. Um, don't just keep complaining about it because that's not going to do anything for you guys. And that's the moral of the story. You guys got to work as a team. Enjoy yourselves, right? And when stressful situations come on, you got to combat together and then we Not made it down to miami together yeah. and we finally checked into our hotel at yeah. three o'clock in the morning yeah. <laughs> and then we made it to our plane and so then we made it to the destination <laughs> got the private plane got on there got there and 
you know, it was a pretty good trip all the way through. How through. cool, right? Though you awesome. see, but you see, miss the behind the scenes, right? Yeah. So there's a lot to go on. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed our our trip story uh, and some of the relationship advice we gave you in there. Join us every week for Cupid's Corner on Sunday, ABC at 11 a.m. DVR it if you're not there live. And you know what? If you can't see it at all, just go over to YouTube, type in Type Medical Center, and catch all the Cupid's Corner shows and all the cool content coming from me, Sharice, and Type Medical Center. We'll see you then. See you next week. <laughs>